Hey, I'm Andy, and this is A World at Peace, and I found this game at Itch.io, and I'll link the game in the description down below for those that are interested, and it seemed like a really relaxing and calming game to play, and I like those kind of games from time to time, so let's just jump right into it. And based off the intro music, it seems really nice. Like, I really like piano pieces. So this reminds me of, like, um... Birds of a Feather, and where you had to collect the things based off my initial impressions. Um, so let's try and pick this up. I don't know how many there are in the game. Can we interact with this? If you collect 100 of these, you should head for that castle out there. So there is a castle in the background. Alright. Is there anything behind me? And then we can run. Yeah, we can jump. Because you never know what kind of uh, secrets there are in, like behind. Because I know some games have that. But apparently there seems to be like a wall, so uh, let's just go the other way. I wish I could turn around and see, like, um, change the camera. Oh, I can. Uh, we're faceless. <laughs> Not that that's bad, it's just uh, you get to imagine what you look like, I would assume. Alright, let's get some of these. So they seem to be in a, in a group of five per, so it shouldn't be that hard. Alright, what's... is that a black monolith? Oh, there seems to be another person over there. Such a tranquil place. Don't you think so? I think so. This also reminds me of like the layout for a total accurate battle simulator for some reason. But, um, this is totally different gameplay wise because this is much more calming and that game is not. Can we jump in the water? No, we can't jump in the water. Alright. I did see a person to talk to so I'm just going to go back and talk to that person. This music's really nice. You're moving. That's interesting. Yeah, what, like, why aren't they moving and why are they, like, grayed out? Seems really weird. Is there, like, a more sinister plot to the, uh, to the story? That I'm just missing? Alright, we got 42. Let's talk to this person. That's quite a bit of whatever it is. I wish I could explore for some. Alright, like, all of the people I've encountered can't move for some reason. Like, this music's really nice. I really like it. Right, let's talk to this person. It isn't too long now. You sure about this? Maybe? What? what? I, I don't know. I'm starting to be worried. Oh, the castle's right here. Oh, you can actually accidentally see what's under. Um, yeah, let's talk to more. Frozen ruins, silent towers, static clouds, so quiet, so... Lifeless. I guess, um, if you look at it that way, this this isn't as serene as it could be. It could be disturbing if you look at it from a different lens. Wouldn't you like to stay in this feeling forever? Don't regret it if you do. 
So I guess it's um, more or less asking me if I want to stay like um, still frozen in time, peace, but it, but in peace, or if oh, there's a lot of them here. Hundred, the end of your journey. I saw five down here. Like I don't know what happens when I get a hundred. It's just get a hundred and go to a tower, or the castle. Excuse me. Let's just uh, talk to these people before we get a hundred. Oh, I can't because I don't have all one hundred. Perhaps you will choose better than us, or perhaps not. Is there a choice? I mean, I could not get a hundred of these, but... We decided to stay, and this is the form we take. So I guess if you want to stay in... Uh, what seems to be eternal calmness and peace, then you just stay there in what's what I think to be limbo? Uh, now I don't know. Like, it brings up a question where if you had the opportunity to be in a world of eternal peace, but then you wouldn't be able to move or do anything, just stand there like a statue. Is it worth it? But now we have a hundred so we can get onto this little... Did that thing move? No. Uh, I see it's time for you to go. Or have you decided to stay? Uh, this brings up so many questions like... Would you want to be a statue if it... If you're in like a place where it's all calm and peaceful, like sure there's nothing um, negative about it, but you're a statue and you can't really move. But if you leave, the world might not be peaceful. I I think you can you can relate it to real life more or less. Like uh, it's more like um, the ch uh, the child leaving out to see the world for the first time, like. You can always stay and be sheltered, or do you want to explore and with the possibility of like all the negative things happening to you? I don't know, I, I have to leave. Like my personal opinion is that I would rather leave and explore rather than stay in one place and be like a statue, even if it comes with like eternal peace and calmness, so let's leave. Oh, that... okay. So I guess it's more of an interpretation of what happens. Um, uh, so, like, whatever happens, happens. So I'm, I'm gonna see what happens if I stay. Or, or the game could just... close down. Alright, I'm gonna open it again. Alright, click the begin. Yeah, this was like a... It's like a... It's a really hard choice, so... Let's just grab all of these gems. But wow, it bring... Like... It's so hard to choose, but at the same time... Um... It's, for me, it's not, in a way. Because I don't really want to be in a world of peace like this if it would cost me my freedom, if that makes any sense. Like, you can see all these statues here, they chose to stay in this land of peace and tranquility, but they can't move, they can, they can clearly talk because you can interact with them, but ah, I don't know, it, it's a really tough choice. It's like, yeah, this is a really calm place, and the music makes it seem really calm too, but I don't know if I want to be a, a statue that can't move and and um, can only interact when being interacted upon, if that makes any sense. 
Like, I want to get out there, I want to experience new things. Um, I, yeah, I, I don't know. Like, I can see why people will pick to stay, but personally, I, I just can't do that. Alright, let's get 30 more. I really like this game. Wow, it's it's really short, but wow, it's it's it gets you thinking about certain things in life. And the music is great, and this was all done by one person, I believe. Wow, really great job. So yeah, ninety and ten more is in there. So I want to see what happens if you stay, if you become a statue. Like that also brings us brings up another question. Like, how did I be? How do? How did I become? How did I get to be in this world moving? Like, why don't I see any others doing like this rite of passage? And how did you get stuck there? All right. So this time I'm going to stay. Will it put me as a statue somewhere else, or...? I guess I'm I'm a statue right there, maybe? Or was that the same person from before? I have no idea. But anyways, yeah, this was a world at peace, and I really liked it. Uh, it was really short, but it was really thought-provoking in my opinion, and... The controls were straightforward, the graphics... Uh, the graphics were fine. It wasn't super detailed, but it didn't need to be. It was pretty in its own in its own way. And yeah, I can't say any like wow. I I would totally totally recommend this game uh for you to try it out. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, um like I said before, I'll link the game in the description down below if you're interested of in getting it. I I highly recommend it. But yeah. That, that was a really good experience. Like, great job. <laughs> wow. So yeah, so thank you for watching, and have a nice day.